There is a this side up, so you don't want that side. So you want this side up as you put it on top, then you just turn it to the right. This is gonna be kind of loose, so you try to keep it in the slot while you do this. One on each, and you just slowly turn it to the right. Doesn't take any strength at all. All you're doing is twisting. The cutter inside is doing all the work. You just turn it till this goes all the way down to your three-eighths of an inch dowel. You want to stop when this hits the wood. That's as far as you go. Try to do this. If it can't figure out how to get it in. And you might hear some squeaks. The more we use it, the less squeaks you have if you have any squeaks. And if you did this correctly, it doesn't go all the way to the bottom, but it almost makes it all the way to the bottom when you do this step. Probably the stain that's left in the rag is enough to stain your project, so don't do any dipping until you stain it. When you stain it, it's kind of hard to get inside the thread. That's why you might have to dip it. So look and see if there's any white wood. If there's white wood, then you want to get a little bit of stain on your rag. And stain it. And before you leave, twist it in. So don't wipe any of the stain off so we can that will stain now the inside of our thread. Then get a paper towel, dry this off, 